calculate the mass in grams of 2.3 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CCL4. All right, I'm going to start with that 2.233 because I'm going to need to convert that into moles would be my very first step. And it really doesn't matter that it's molecules of carbon tetrachloride because the conversion from moles to atoms or moles to molecules uses the same number. And that's Avogadro's number. All right, so that's molecules of CCL4. We give you moles of CCL4. But since this wants the mass, I need to turn those moles of CCL4 into a mass. So I need the molecular weight of carbon tetrachloride. So get that. I have 12.01 plus 4 times 35.45. So, 153.81. All right, so all this in my calculator. I'm going to put the 2.33 times 10 to the 22nd divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times... 153.81 gives me a mass of 5.95. All right, now, when you do that calculation, if you end up with a really large number or a really small number, like the exponents are messed up, what's probably happening is that your calculator is taking this number and dividing by it, but multiplying by the 10 to the 9th, so a good strategy if you don't get it right, if your calculator is one of those fortunate ones that does this kind of weird, put this whole number in parentheses when you divide by it, and that should fix that issue. And if you see that, that might be a good practice for your calculator to just put any time you're doing an exponents, just put them in parentheses. But as you can see on those TIs, it had no problem. If you use that EE button like I did, which is the shift of the comma on this calculator, it has no problem doing that the um, uh, straight forward, easy way, and no need to do parentheses.